again to inquiring minds. I've got to thinking about my relatives, my forefathers, a while back, and I thought, hmm, what I need to do is just fill out a, a family tree. Uh, thinking about all of my relatives, my tree's going to be pretty full. It's going to go up, and then it's going to go down, too, because I have children and grandchildren and even great-grandchildren. And I went to school with a young man that uh, works at the Saline County Library now here in Benton, and he knows a lot about how to trace your roots. So I've always said if I want to eat, I'll go to a restaurant. If I want a steak, I'll go to a steakhouse. So I thought, you know, this, this, is, this is the steakhouse. Go to the professional, someone who knows. And this is Steve Perdue. He works here at the library, like I said. And he knows quite a bit about genealogy, how to trace your roots and that sort of thing. So we're going to be talking with Steve today. And the first thing I'm going to do is say, Steve, if I wanted to trace my family history, where would I start? Well, the library would be a good place because uh, we have a genealogy and local history department here at the Saline County Library. And uh, if you're just getting started in genealogy, I think that you need to uh, uh, begin with yourself and you need to go backwards. And uh, you also need to find out uh, from your oldest relative as much information as you can, your oldest living relative. and. Um, they can sometimes fill in on uh, things that you need to know. At our age, we're almost the oldest <laughs> real living relative now. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt you. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. And um, uh, the census records is a good way to uh, uh, find out about your ancestors. Uh, the United States Census has been taken every 10 years since 1790. And um, the last census that was released was the 1940 census. And that was just released this past April. How would I gain access to the census records? Um, here at the library, we have uh, on the databases, online databases, where you can search the census. Uh, we have Ancestry Library, which is kind of like Ancestry.com, but it does have all the census for all the United States for every from 1790 up to 1940. Okay, speaking of Ancestry.com, uh, this brings up a question. I know you have to pay to join that, to use that online. Are there any fees for using any of, of the uh, resources you have here at the library? No, you just have to be a resident of Saline County, and you can get a free library card here just by showing uh, uh, the, uh, your driver's license or uh, uh, the latest, uh, just a mailing address, something on written on the mailing address, your current mailing address and you can get a Swing County Library card, and all that's available here free uh, through by using your Swing County Library card. And uh, it, now it's not Ancestry.com, it's Ancestry Library, so it's a little yes. bit different. Yes. Uh, it's so, free. So I can trace my history and it not cost me any money. Right. Because a lot of people are concerned about that, especially with the economy today. But I just wanted to throw that in in case someone would ask. And uh, we also have another one called Heritage Quest. And uh, Ancestry uh, Library is not available for home use, but they can come into the library, Brian or Ben, and access that. And in Heritage Quest, with your library card, you can access that from home. So you can do genealogy at home in your pajamas. <laughs> that sounds comfortable. Uh, let me ask you this real quick, uh, since you mentioned Bryant, would you give us the address of the library at Bryant? And then this one here in Benton, too. Um, I know you were going to ask that. Uh, <laughs> I, think I, I think I'm... Um, it's on Pricket Road. Yeah, Pricket Prick, Road. I can't remember the number right now. Well, turn there at the this red This is 18 Hunters <laughs> Drive, and uh, it's, it's right there at the uh, Pricket Road, uh, across from Regis Bank. And there you turn. Turn right on Pricket Road. Turn right up the Valero and take the first left. <laughs> and I'm just totally blank on it. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Uh, yeah. And our address here in Benton is? 1800 Smithers Drive. Okay, thank you. We'll go ahead now. <laughs> okay. But uh, we have uh, Heritage Quest and Ancestry Library that will look up the uh, uh, census records, and that's good. We also have a, a, a database called Fold 3, which uh, you can look up Civil War records, and a lot of people want to see about if their ancestor was in the Civil War. Oh, yes, I understand that. 
So uh, that's, that's something there that you can look at. We also have World Bible Records. That's another genealogy website. And you can access uh, that from home too. Poll 3 and uh, World Bible Records can be accessed from home. And uh, then we have uh, America's Genealogy Bank. We have about six or seven databases online. And the only one you can't get from home is Ancestry Library. Okay. That, that sounds wonderful. Do you have many people ask you about how to trace their family roots? Oh yes, we have uh, uh, people come in every every month uh, to keep the tally. We have people from all the United States that come here that have roots here in Saline County, so uh, that's kind of unusual, you know. Uh, just had a lady the other day from Florida. That's wonderful. I might be jumping ahead of myself just a little bit. Say I've been in and I've done all of my research and I've got my family tree as complete as I can get it. Now, is there some way that I can get this uh, on uh, the internet somewhere, some site I can put it on there, so that other people in my family can have access to it? Right, Ancestry.com. You can, if you're a member of that, I think the fee's around two hundred dollars a month, uh, maybe a year. I'm not sure. Price. But that that's available, and then there's uh, some free sites too. There's uh, My Heritage, I think, is one. Uh, a lot of people want to get a software program like Family Tree Maker, or uh, there's one called Roots Magic, where they can if they've got a computer where they want to get it all all the information entered into a computer, where they can have the information. And uh, there are about six or seven software programs that people can use. You can add pictures to it, and photographs, and uh, that makes it good. Eventually, you can use those programs to write a book on your family history. Oh, well, that sounds interesting. That's right there on my alley. Mm -hmm. uh, you have some papers in your hands. You right. Explain uh, to us what these are. Well, uh, if you're just starting out, like we said, uh, the ancestor chart, what this is, um, this is a four generation. And uh, what you do is that you would start with your, uh, you put yourself right here and put your wife, uh, your spouse, and then this would be your father, and then your mother, and then your grandparents here, and then your great grandparents. And you would put the, uh, uh, where they were born, the place where they were they're married, where the place where they were married, died in place. And, uh, Eventually, you start filling these up and you can go back several generations. Now, as you're doing them, you, you also probably want to do a family group sheet. And this is a family group sheet where you put the husband and the wife. And then, uh, if you're doing it yourself, uh, you probably want to start uh, with your father and mother and then list all your brothers and sisters here and then all the information on them. And so, these are the two best uh, pieces of paper that you'll need. And you can go to Ancestry.com or Ancestry Library and just download these free on the internet. Do you have one, kind of like this first one you showed us, where it starts with me and goes to my children and my grandchildren and my great-grandchildren? Or do you know about those? Yeah, yeah, you can have, you can have those. They have, have all kinds of uh, ancestry charts. Uh, some of them are in a pan, kind of a, like a pan where you put yourself uh, down at the bottom and then you just spread upwards with your offspring and you put them all in there and it eventually makes a big fan, you know. I understand that. I know nowadays it's hard to keep up with families, but my son is really interested in his uh, uh, lineage and he's always asking me about some of the relatives on either my side or his dad's side. It's, uh, it's pretty interesting. Okay. We also have some brochures when you come out here. This is called Genealogy Research in the uh, Arkansas Room. And in this uh, brochure, it tells you what we have about the books, uh, the birth and death records indexes that we have. We don't have any birth or death records out here. Uh, but we have uh, census and marriage records. We do have Saline County marriage records back to 1836. And we have a database up from 1836 to 2000. And so if your parents or grandparents or great-grandparents got married here, on microfilm, we have um, seen kind of marriage records from 1836 to 1952. So you can get a copy of the marriage record here oh, at the library. That's wonderful. Yeah. 
that's very interesting. Uh, so if uh, someone wanted to come into the library, would they need to talk with you, or can they just take the information from the brochures or what you're telling us? And uh, I'm here nearly every day, so it's probably best to ask for me, and uh, I'll, I'll show them. We have a separate room that has a uh, computer in it where if they're kind of new to a computer and they want to just kind of get started, I'll sit there and help them show them how to do it. That's very interesting. I know a lot of people, mostly the older people, are, are not computer literate. Mm -hmm. And I don't mean that in a bad way mm -hmm. because it took me some time to learn the computer. But uh, a lot of people don't know how to use the computer, but you'll help them with that. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, you've got something up here on the computer screen that you wanted to talk to us about. Yeah, let me move over here to the computer. Okay. All right, this is the library website, and uh, to get into my department, you go to the Genealogy and Local History, and our web, web address is www.selenecountylibrary.org. That's the library website. And when you get into this site, just click here for Genealogy and Local History, and it brings up my page, and um, this is the genealogy and local history page. And uh, over here on the left are the databases I was talking about. If you click right here on the databases, you see we have America's Genealogy Bank. Uh, we have America's Newspapers and Magazines, America's Obituaries, and Death Notices. Those are probably within the last 10 years. Then here's Ancestry Library. And then Fold 3, which is the Civil War Records. And then we have Heritage Quest, which is uh, also uh, Census Records. And then here's Sanborn Maps of Arkansas, and we have World Vital Records. Uh, let me show you what Ancestry Library looks like. Now remember, this is only if you come into the library. Uh, click on Ancestry Library. And it comes up. And uh, here's where you can enter a name, last name, and first name. Just do a general search. Or um, here's the 1940 census. Uh, here are the U.S. Census collection. Click right here. And just enter in a name. And uh, you can go down here and pick the year that you want to look at. See, it goes back to 1790 all the way up to, uh, also has slave schedules on here. Um, the 1890 census now burned in Washington, D.C. in 1920 in a fire, so there's not much of that left. That's why it says fragment. And uh, they're always updating these. But they do have a new 1940 census on there. And uh, you can just click on them. Uh, let me... Uh, Click on the 1940 real quick. And let me put in, I'll put in my dad. And he lived in Garland County. See if we can get it come up here. Uh, here he is. Just click on this. He was living over in uh, Garland County Hot Springs with his aunts and uncles. His uh, mother had passed away and he was living with his uh, aunts and uncles in the household. 
And so there he is there, and you can just click on it um, to view the original census image. comes in, you can zoom in. And let's we'll see if we can find him here. There he is. And the 1940 census was unique because uh, it, it, they put an X with a circle around it by the person that was giving the information. So he was home that day when the census taker came by and he was telling all the information about their ages and, and uh, see he's got the ex by his name. He was the nephew living there in the household. And uh, this is his uncle and we got two uncles here and then these were all his aunts and his aunt Tina was the one that raised him. And he's living over in Hot Springs and he had just gotten a job look over here you can see uh, he was a new employee said he was working at a printing company uh, one thing wrong with the census though I don't know why he did it but he told him the wrong age <laughs> he said he's born he's 19 here and uh, uh, he was actually closer to 20 so uh, I don't know why he did that but these are just, this is the way you can look at the actual census page, so it makes it easier, see, to find your ancestors. Yes, it would. How much information do you need to, I noticed you just typed in uh, first and last name mm -hmm. and uh, Garland County, Arkansas. Uh, just, you need to know about where they were in a certain decade and the family name, and you can just type the last name of the family and, uh, and do, do research on them. Uh, and you can print these off, uh, this information, see, and there it shows you. Is there a charge for uh, printing? Uh, your first 10 uh, copies are free here at the library. Okay. But if you're at home on Heritage Quest now, you can get into Heritage Quest and print, you know, if you're home, you just use your own. Okay. Now you say your first 10 pages are, are free. What if? Uh, you have more than After that, it's $0.10 cents a page. Okay, thank you. Because I know someone would ask that question. Yeah, and so that's Ancestry Library. Mm -hmm. Is that each time you come to the library? Uh, the first 10 are free, and then after that, uh, it'll be $0.10 cents a page. So you just get 10 free total. Okay. And uh, here's Heritage Quest, and it has census records as well also has 28,000 family histories on here. So oh. you can just type in a, um, I'll do my name again, and we'll go here to, uh, let's try 1930, and try Arkansas, and we'll do a search. See, I think the 30 census, they haven't completed everything. I don't think you know, on Heritage Quest they've got Arkansas. So let's not try 20. I know 20 is complete. And what Heritage Quest does that I like, and a lot of people sitting at home in their pajamas when they're doing this, it lists the county, individual county, where that surname is listed. And see, there are 52 Purdue's in Arkansas in 1920. And so it also breaks it down by county. And so you can see that uh, there's one in Garland, where my father was from. Okay. And uh, that's his brother. That's my, my father's uncle there. But, but it has uh, others listed too. And... Uh, Sometimes you strike out, and, as we call it in genealogy, a brick wall. And so sometimes you don't find any. You notice there are a lot of Purdue's down around um, 
El Dorado and Union County. Yes, I see that. And also uh, Jefferson County has used to have a Purdue paper company there, but we're not related to any of those rich people. Well, that was, was going to be my next question. I noticed there was like 52 Purdue's uh -huh. in Arkansas. Uh, is there a way to find out if you're related to all of them or, uh, or um, not? It's a lot of it's trial and error. As you're tracing back your ancestors, you're going to find uncles and aunts, and then you start doing family root sheets on there on that family, and then you can start seeing if you're related. You know, as it goes through. So it can be done. Yes, it can be done. But Heritage Quest is is really good because you can access this from home, and um, that makes it much more convenient. Right, mm -hmm. and here's the books. Um, you can just type in a, a name, um, since I'm doing that, I'll use Purdue. I don't know if there's anything. Now, what type books are these? These are family histories that people have written. Okay. And um, uh, it may just be a different, different family than yours, but it may somewhere in the book mention your surname. Um, Let's see this one. You can click on View Hits, and it'll bring up the actual table of contents. Uh, it says it, there's 19 on the title page right here, Goodness. and uh, you can uh, uh, let's see if there's another one here. Well, let's look at the book. Here's the book page, and you can sit there at your computer and just go through the whole thing. If you want to, this is the first page of the book, and see it just says next page, and you just click the page, and it loads the next page. And so it, it's got 28,000 books on here, so you can sit there and look at the, at the, uh, That's impressive. each page of the book. And this was done in 1961. That specific one, yeah. Um, this, this yeah. is a specific book. Yeah. But, I mean, there's, there's 28,000 books on there. So you could spend a, <laughs> a long time doing that. More than all day. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is Heritage Quest online. And um, there's a lot of other things that you come in we can show you about. Here's Fold 3 real quick. This is the military records. Um, this one can be accessed from home. This is where it has a lot of Civil War uh, information on it. Find out if some of your ancestors were in the war. Right. And it has uh, it will pull up pa actual pages over here to the right. Um, a lot of it's city directories where their person is listed, but it can have be Civil War records as well. And you can just click on these if you want to look at them. There's, That's very interesting. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things there. Uh, I didn't put... I can tell. I can do... Uh, let's see. There's really a lot of history and genealogy, oh. so this would be, it right. would be good to know your history. Right, uh -huh. but there's just a lot there, and it's all free. Um, by searching this, and um, this is World Vinyl Records. Uh, this might be interesting to the people. Uh, this is the Sanborn fire insurance maps for Arkansas. Now, was Sanborn, is that the name of the company who made right. the maps? It was a fire insurance company. And uh, they would come around and uh, uh, for their fire insurance, they would uh, check to see, you know, what, if the building was made out of wood or something like that. And we can go here, it's got every city in Arkansas. And uh, the only one in Saline County is Benton. And you click on Benton, and then you've got several dates. You can look at March of 1915, May of 1921, July of 1930, and up to June of 
48. And uh, let's click on March of 1915. And uh, let's get this, click on this right here. This is the uh, area around the courthouse. And uh, you can continue to, to and zoom in on it. There's West Cross Street. And uh, there's the courthouse. If you wanted to do a history of uh, Saline County, this would be a valuable tool for that. Yeah, well, it's prime. It's just Benton, though. It's it's. Well, yeah. but Benton's part of Saline County. Yeah, yeah. See, there's Cross Street, North Street, Market, mm -hmm. Conway, and then there's the courthouse. Okay. And uh, here's Severe, and then it, other maps have other parts of the town, but. Uh, these are the way the buildings looked, see, in 1915. They were houses. Here's the church. Here's the Methodist church, but just on one part, see, of the, that block. It wasn't a whole block like it is today. There's other buildings down here. But uh, that's an interesting thing to look at, too. Oh, it would be. We get people coming in here all the time that have old, are living in old houses. They want to know if we have a picture of that house, you know, mm -hmm. and show them the Sandworm maps. So. Is there, way, is there a way you can get to a Sandworm maps website without going through this website? No. Okay. No, it's uh, the libraries who purchased this, and so we have, we also have this on microfilm. And I have a huge microfilm collection, too. We have lots of newspapers. Uh, we have newspapers uh, for Saline County. We have uh, the oldest newspaper in Saline County, May 24, 1877, Saline County Digest. And then we have bits and pieces up to about 1914 when the Couillier starts. Okay. We have from Couillier back to 1914 up to the present. And searching through newspapers is a good way also to find out Things right, obituaries. Yes. And we have an obituary index here at the library. That uh, uh, there's two books that are have been done on obituaries, and then we have a a database that we created here at the library that goes from 1930 up to the present. Okay. And so a person can come in, ask me for give me the name of the person, and I can look up the obituary. They can get a copy. That's, the that's interesting. In the paper. Uh, my mother and her sister back years ago uh, wanted to do their family history. This is before the days of computers and everything. Mm -hmm. They just went to Tennessee and Mississippi where uh, their ancestors were from and went to graveyards, cemeteries, mm -hmm. and read the information on the uh, uh, headstones. They got lots of information that way. Yeah. Uh, does uh, the library have a database on, on the, the cemeteries? We have Lake books. County? We have books. Yes. Uh, Miss uh, Barber did a book. Uh, she did divide the county up into about six different books, and we have those. They're kind of out of date now. They're back to, they were published in 1976. But we have different people that have done uh, indexes on different uh, cemeteries in the county since then. So we have separate books on some cemeteries here in Saline County that yeah. people can find information about. Do you have anyone that goes out to the cemetery physically and just goes through and puts oh. down all the information? No, we don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, can't do, we don't have time to do that. Yeah, but, that takes a lot of time. But I we understand. Have, I, if you're doing, when I, in my personal genealogy, I like to go to the places like you said your mm -hmm. mother did because sometimes you can find the county where they own land and you can find a lot more county records there in that individual county. I understand that. Uh, well, is there anything else that you would like to add to this? Uh, Any just come in. You're give we're us? <laughs> we're welcome, welcome you to come in, and we'll help you all we can. And uh, just uh, look at this. Uh, I also have a newsletter that I put on here. Uh, it comes out every. Uh, every three months okay. and it tells about programs that we're having here at the library. This is That's a picture of Senator Pryor when he was here several years ago. It's called the DeMuth Declaration after David O. DeMuth who uh, started the Arkansas Room and um, is named in honor of him. Uh, this is uh, put out every 
uh, three months, this newsletter, and uh, it tells about it. We just had this Civil War exhibit, and we had people come out and, and, and view it, and we're getting ready for a second Civil War exhibit, December 11th through December the 22nd, and this is from the Arkansas History Commission. And um, we also have, um, I have a genealogy seminar every year in March, and uh, that will be in the new uh, newsletter. We just had Tim Ernst, who's a nature photographer, lives up on the Buffalo River. And then on uh, Monday night, December the 10th, we have Dr. Bill Shea from UA Monticello, who will be here to talk about the Battle of Prairie Grove. It's the 150th anniversary of the Battle of Prairie Grove, Arkansas. If I wanted to attend this, would, would there be, do I need to make reservations? Would there be a charge? No, just call the library if you have any information, to have any uh, uh, questions about it, and it's free to the public, so you're welcome to come. Any of our programs are open to the public. I also put some little, you know, bits of Saline County history in here sometime. And uh, this is a program we have upcoming in uh, January on Abraham Lincoln and Arkansas, the President's Influence and Interest State. That's Dr. Uh, Trey Berry from Southern Arkansas University. He's the uh, Dean of the College of Liberal and Farming Arts, and he'll be here to present that program January the 14th. And then here's some display cases that we just recently had on the election. And uh, we just, we get a lot of donations. We've received a, a Masonic Bible there uh, from a, a patron. And uh, we're very pleased to have that in our collection. So we, we have a lot of archive of stuff too. Mm -hmm. Steve, I appreciate very much you taking the time to visit with us and to tell us how to do this. And I think I'll go home and sit down and get my paper and my pencil and my computer and start writing. And get your library <laughs> yeah. card. Well, no, I've got a library okay. card. Let me, uh, I, I take advantage of that. But I do appreciate your, uh, your taking time with us and helping us with this. And hopefully this will let the viewers know that if they want to trace their family history, they can come to the library, and there's so many resources here other than uh, genealogy. And maybe they'll come in and uh, make use of their library. We all pay for it, so we all should use it, yeah, right? It's free. Uh, but uh, I hope that everyone has enjoyed this program, and we'll get back with you later, Steve, and ask you to come back and do a, uh, a show about the history of